Hi, this is Gilles, the Radio Prepper. Today we're going to talk about magnetic loops, and in particular the Chameleon P-Loop 2.0. Those antennas can be uh, very portable, very useful. I'm no stranger to magnetic loops. I built a couple, one for 40 and 30 meters, and the other one for uh, 6 meters. The 40 and 30 meter version was a little too long at 21 foot perimeter, uh, 6.3 meters, but um, it worked great on 40 and 30, so I used it for quite a while and I used it quite a bit. The great advantage and the inconvenient is that it had a very narrow bandwidth. When you're using a tiny QRP radio that doesn't have any filtering, it's awesome because you can isolate uh, a very short part of the uh, the band and you don't need filtering but when you want to change frequencies uh, quite often uh, it's not so great anyway I got the uh, chameleon uh, P loop 2.0 uh, from chameleon antennas and uh, let's have a look at what's in the box I'll try to make this quick uh, I'm not big into uh, unboxing videos, but uh, you guys might be interested. Um, so let's uh, get this opened. I had to redo the sound so you won't hear any uh, noises, uh, just my comment. So uh, right there in the box uh, we have a very nice bag messenger bag and uh, the, the bag itself is probably worth uh, I don't know thirty dollars um, pretty convenient I think I might even use it for my computer I might not even carry the loop in the bag then we have the tripod um, it's very small when it's folded but uh, it's actually uh, you know goes to uh, quite a nice height when you uh, open it up. The base, uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Next item is the power adapter. I think that's what it's called. Uh, it's to allow you to use the loop with a little bit more power uh, above 25 watts up to 60 watts. Then we have the uh, feeding loop which is uh, that small aluminum ring you see there with a uh, antenna connector. We have a choke, we'll talk about that uh, later as well. And the coax cable here, which um, is the actual loop itself. Here I'm opening the uh, capacitor box. It looks a little bit like a Pelican case. Um, you see the uh, knob at the bottom. There is a Picatinny rail there too, uh, to attach it to the tripod. You can't open it because it's uh, sealed. Actually, if you do open it, uh, I think you lose your warranty, but I'm not 100% sure, but uh, no need to do that. If you want to see the inside, there is a video on the uh, Chameleon Antennas website. There we go. Okay, so next. Uh, well, this item here is not part of the uh, P-Loop 2.0 uh, first impression video. It's actually the Chameleon spike mount for the hybrid micro. Uh, I just uh, posted a uh, video about it, so but uh, here is a quick uh, glance at it in case you haven't seen it. Very nice, stainless steel. And the uh, last item, I think, is what I call the uh, selfie stick. <laughs> it's, but it's used to uh, actually um, attach us to the uh, capacitor box and uh, uh, supports the uh, feeding uh, ring. But it can be used as a selfie stick and that's a bonus. So there it is, the Chameleon P-Loop 2.0. Here's the capacitor box. 
with the knob on the bottom. The loop is a coax cable. Feeding is through a secondary loop here. And it comes with a nice uh, tripod, actually uh, in two parts. One part here is sort of a selfie stick, actually, that's what I used uh, earlier with my phone. And you can disconnect it here. You have a nice uh, handle here, rubber kind. And a tripod going to the ground. Uh, the only uh, issue maybe that I've seen is that uh, if it's windy, uh, the tripod is not very wide, so it tends to just uh, fall over. Uh, but here it's not really a problem. The shape of the loop, of course, because it's coax, is not quite a circle. I don't think it's a big problem. All those uh, all these uh, magnetic loops uh, made of coax uh, have that issue anyway, but uh, it seems to work well. It doesn't seem to affect it. Now the loop comes with a choke cable, but I couldn't use it. I need to tell Carl at Chameleon Antennas that uh, military radios and QRP radios use BNC connectors. No SO239 and no PL159. That's only uh, mostly in the shack that I know of. So I couldn't use the choke, but you know, uh, who cares? It's working anyway. Tuning is very touchy, of course. That's not peculiar to Chameleon, of course. Uh, all loops have a very narrow bandwidth. And I'm barely touching the knob, barely. Uh, but I get very good SWR, 20 meters. Almost no SWR actually. The great thing about magnetic loops is that they radiate at all angles, meaning that uh, they radiate in the plane of the loop from zero degrees horizontal uh, up to 90 degrees, so it's good for DX and NVIS uh, regional communications. One thing you need to know about magnetic loops is that their performance is directly linked to their size. My large uh, 30 and 40 meter magnetic loop uh, 21 foot perimeter only had an efficiency of about 24% on the 40 meter band. And it was quite uh, big. You can see it in action with the uh, KX3. Uh, it had uh, excellent performance on 30 meter and decent performance on 40 meter, even though it was radiating only 24% of the power. Uh, by the way, here is the capacitor I use for it, which is an air uh, uh, gapped capacitor and the feeding point, which was not a smaller loop, but a torrid and a few turns of wire. Now, if you look at the uh, P-Loop 2.0 chart, and this one comes directly from the uh, Chameleon Antennas uh, website, the performance is excellent on 10 meter, 88%. 20 meter, uh, the performance goes down to 38%, which is quite good actually, even compared to a dipole. When you go down to 40 meter though, it goes down to 5.3%. So you need to uh, keep that in mind. Um, a small magnetic loop is a compromised antenna. They work quite well, but they're not uh, quite big enough to uh, be as good as a dipole, but performance is not very far off, really. Uh, usually, if you can contact someone with a dipole, uh, a magnetic loop should do, uh, and there are times when uh, they do better, uh, like uh, work for NVIS and uh, low-angle DX at the same time. 
uh, for people who don't know exactly what that means uh, it means that you can use a magnetic loop for local regional communications and long distance communications all with the same antenna so it's quite useful that way Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Fox 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. A very weak station. I can hear a very weak station. I think it may be a French station. Would you like to try again, old man? Go ahead. Thank you. This is Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. QSL? Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Bravo Smith, Foxtrot 4. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. QSL? Foxtrot 4, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. Hello, here's Delta Alpha, Sierra Delta Alpha, Whiskey, Bravo, Yankee. My private call is Delta Lima 2, Lima Bravo Kilo. My name is Karin Kilo Alpha Romeo India November. And my QTH is Kiel. Kiel is the QTH. And you have uh, come with 5 and 8. Thank you very much, uh, Karin. Um, my name is Gilles Golf India Lima. I am in the north of France, a, uh, near the town of Lille, Lima, India, Lima, Lima, Echo, portable station, QRP, 5 watts, with a magnetic loop antenna. Uh, over. Okay, Roger, you are QRP station uh, with 5 watt. I have a I, uh, ICOM 7300 and uh, 100 watt. Uh, and my antenna is a quad. Uh, this is the uh, uh, the bedingung here. Oh, very nice. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, no surprise that uh, you hear me uh, very well here from uh, from the north of France. Uh, I have a very small station, uh, low power. Uh, thank you very much for the call, and I uh, hope you are having a, a good day and uh, good DX. Uh, over. Thank you very much and uh, by the way I am making a video for YouTube so uh, check my uh, QRZ page and uh, maybe you will see uh, our QSO there. Have a great day. Uh, 73 Foxtrot 4 Whiskey Bravo Yankee. Over. So given the uh, propagation, or lack thereof today, <laughs> I'd say Germany is pretty good. Especially on 5 watts uh, with a small magnetic loop. And uh, the chameleon, uh, chameleon certainly works, um, no doubt. I mean, uh, it's no, no magic there. Uh, magnetic loops are... Um, I, I like those antennas. Uh, they do work uh, pretty, uh, pretty nicely. Even the small size ones. Uh, mine was bigger, of course, and I was making uh, more distant contacts. But uh, you know, it just uh, depends on propagation. Sometimes um, it's not going to go through. But uh, uh, this contact on 20 meters uh, shows that uh, even though it's not the best day uh, today, uh, you know, it's possible. By the way, this is the nice selfie stick you get with the uh, chameleon P loop with a rotating head here extendable with a nice handle excellent 
we all know magnetic loops work. There is no doubt about that. Uh, this uh, first impression video is not about performance. Uh, it's more about uh, practicality and portability. And the uh, Chameleon P-Loop 2.0 uh, does deliver uh, in that regard. It's a small magnetic loop, so we have to consider that performance is not going to be as good as a bigger loop. It's well constructed. Uh, I didn't notice any big flaws with it, except maybe for the uh, tripod, uh, which base is a bit narrow, so it tends to fall over. But you can use another tripod, of course. Uh, the one uh, you get with the uh, P-Loop is very small and fits in the bag, so... I think I would have preferred the uh, F-Loop uh, with the nice uh, aluminum ring. The F-Loop Plus. Uh, I really would have liked to review uh, that one. But uh, I'm happy with the uh, P-Loop 2.0. Uh, you will see more review, uh, more videos uh, of this loop uh, in the field. Uh, I'm going to test it a little bit more uh, with more power. And uh, I also have the uh, power compensator, although I don't have a radio that can uh, uh, put out uh, more than 30 watts. So I don't think I'm going to be using it. But... Uh, yeah, so far so good, um, except for the tripod uh, with the narrow base, uh, uh, nothing else, uh, nothing uh, special really. Uh, it's well made, uh, I like the capacitor box, uh, it's, it's pretty solid. So, um, well that's it for this one guys, have a good one.